Hello everyone, in this video I will try to create some tutorial about sending email OTP to verified user email. So um, as we know the Firestore also have a feature like that but the difference is Firestore sending just link and when the user click the link the user will be automatically verified uh, in this case i want to share want to send the otp like a random uh, four digits number and then the user have to uh, insert that four digit number and if the, if it's match uh, the email verified will be the email will be verified i mean and then uh, I create some field on the file store that call email verified. And if uh, and if the email is verified, the value of that field will be changed to the true. So uh, this is the demo. I will try to create a new user. If I click this uh, button, get started, it uh, should be sending me some email OTP. You see, uh, the snack bear, the snack bear, told the uh, OTP successfully sent. And I will open my Gmail and yeah, I got uh, some new email. 7400 and then I will input with the wrong one 7401 uh, this is told uh, wrong OTP but uh, when I input for the correct one it will be told email verified and automatically direct to the another page and if we see the firestore uh, the field uh, email verified is to be uh, changed to true and um, by the way uh, I'm using third party called sendgrid to sending the email and okay first thing for us we will be we will be talking about the send grid so the send grid is like a third party to sending like um automatically or programmable email or you can i think uh, the the send grid also can send like a um, sms otp and the first thing for us, you have to create the create account, send grid account. After you successfully create send grid account, um, I will try to do from the dashboard. And you just go to uh, sender authentication. As you see, uh, I have to send an authentication that already verified. Um, you have to add one. Like uh, you have to fill the name, uh, the email. This is a uh, Sam email, and then your data. After that, uh, the sender will be send the verification email to your authentication sender email. I mean like this and you just click the verify sender and your uh, verified will be checked and after you already create a new sender and then you have to jump to the api key create a new key and just click the full access and forget to name that uh, create new and then uh, you have to copy the credential 
and after you successfully with the sand grid i think uh, the sand grid uh the sand grid phase is uh just uh, like this click the credential and then open your uh postman or in this case i'm using insomnia cut a new request and then uh, fill the url with this url api.sendgrid.com feature email and slash n and go to here go to authentication this is will be authentication on the first time and then uh, select berry token after that uh, you need to pass the credential to this field uh, fill uh, the header with a uh, content type application slash json and then for the yeah just like that and this is the body uh, you can copy past the body uh, this is the email so the email the this is the sender that you just confirm from the sendgrid.com and then this is for the email to or the to receive and uh, the name of the user and this is for the subject and this is also name and this is the OTP and this is the body of your email so uh you can testing to make sure the of everything it works okay uh accepted 202 uh, it's mean email ready sending see uh, just got a new email and then um, if uh, we are successfully uh, yeah, sending the the first email with uh, postman or this or insomnia in my case so uh, we need to uh, we need to implement this to our uh, project in the platform right so by the way uh, this is uh, my project so i already integrate with a uh, firebase firebase and then uh, i already turn on the notification right so and then uh, i already create one collection users with uh, one more additional fields uh, email verified with the type boolean and I added uh, like uh, three pages one for the home and one for the login and uh, login and sign up and then one for the OTP page so um, after that uh, we jump to the API API calls add new API calls name is up to you and then this is the URL from this and the body uh, okay uh, the next thing is the maybe the header you see uh, the header is uh, like uh, one is for content types which is application slash JSON this is uh, the the common, uh, but the difference is uh, this one. So um, this uh, berry token is generated uh, by, I think this is uh, using like uh, bash 64 encryption. But to making this is more simple, you can also click the send button and then the arrow down and generate client code so uh, you can uh, you can get the, the value of your token so you just need to copy pass to this like this 
this and um, click the variable you can add it to report variable to email to this is for the receiver and OTP and last one is name with the type all the strings and then um, for the body like this you can uh, fill the, uh, the value with your variables that you already created and we just save to make sure everything is okay you can test the APA and you can fill the, the value the receiver OTP and M to testing to your email okay again uh, 202 uh, it's me and success and I just got the email to my inbox okay everything is good until now and then uh, if the API call is is work so we, we can jump into the Flutterflow page okay this is the this is just like uh, just a normal authentication patch you can add from the template like I did add page and then authentication and just whatever you like I just this one and after that uh, on the setting for the authentication app settings, um, I choose uh, for the login log in page is OTP page. So after I created account, so I will directly automatically navigate to the OTP page. But in your case, maybe uh, you can create some condition uh, to uh, OTP page. So and you can also create a condition on on the page load so when you can read the verified email if the email already verified you can uh, pass this page and jumping to the home page but uh, I'm not created that logic yet in this time okay uh, so the logic uh, that I created is on the page load Uh, okay the first thing first is on the on this page I created some patch, uh, patch state called OTP with the type string is knowable it is to store uh, the OTP that I will create and on the patch load I add action to update patch state which is uh, the OTP with the value is the random string with uh, random string minim minimum is 4 and maximum is 4 and I turn on for only digits so after that I call the API the API calls is verify email that we just created and for the variables I insert for from the authenticate user you know the authenticate user and then you can choose for the email and the display name and then for the OTP I put uh, this is for from the app set right and after that um, uh, for the condition API result is success I will uh, sending some snack bar success sending the OTP email and for this page yeah, you can see I only uh, put the pin code and one button and then uh, for the confirmation button I add some actions like this uh, I, I add some condition add condition as usual add condition and then uh, if the OTP from the patch stats equals to the pin code from the widget value so 
uh, it means the OTP is correct. So I will show the snack bar email verified, and then I will uh, update uh, the the user collection from the authentication reference, of course. User reference, and after that, I will navigate the the paths to the home path. So, but if the OTP uh, not correct, which is uh, the path that OTP is not equal to pin code on the patch, so it will be sending the snack the snack bar snack bar wrong OTP. And um, I think uh, just like that. So uh, I think uh, that's it. Um, thank you for watching this video. Just feel free to comment in the comment section below. Thank you.